Previously on Dream Team. I can't be on that pitch with you, Evan. But it's up to you now, right? Make sure we stay up. I've got to concentrate and say this, thinking about Phil. Okay. Rose, Rose petals, petals and light of earth. Draw nigh true happiness to one who is worth. You don't look too good, son. Don't drop me, Guffer. It's too important to me. Focus, all right? Good boy. I'm dropping you. You can't do that. I just that. Uh, you don't understand. Manchester trailing by a goal to nil, scored by Wayne Rooney, and at the moment they are relegated. They need a goal, but Everton defending stoically as they have been under David Moyes all season. And it's Gemmell and Naismith looking to get forward down that left-hand side for Everton. Naismith's been getting a little bit of joy down that left flank, and in a good position again here, Campbell and Rooney. I thought we should celebrate. Celebrate what? Last time we spoke, you said you'd see me in hell. I'd lost my job. I'd lost control. All because you've decided to ease your conscience by telling your husband everything. I'm getting back with my husband. Don't be daft. I'm sorry, Jackie. Let me in. You know you want to. Having to do without Carl Fletcher today, remember? But now, Stuart Naismith. Mistake. By Everton at the back, Stuart Naismith getting well forward. Can he finish? Oh, can he? It's an equaliser for Harchester. A rare goal, and what a time to get it from Stuart Naismith. Joy unconfined all around the Dragon's Lair. It's 1 1. And Hart Let him enjoy his moment of hope. He won't last. Jamie Parker's not playing, is he? Facing the inevitable if he's got any sense. We don't need him. Without Fletch to drive them on in the second half, they're going to go to pieces. In an hour from now, we are going to be seriously rich. The season is over. Please, just tell me what to do. <laughs> One coming from behind after Wayne Rooney's Lawler has deputized very well. A vital goal for Stuart Naismith. Season rests on the final. Concentrate on what we've got to do, yeah? Come on! Gather around quickly now. I'm not going to give you no half time team talk. All right, listen up, boys. You know what you've got to do. I just want to say that, well, I'm proud of you. I've had 10 years in management, and I've never led a team with so much quality and courage. And that courage is about to be... Oh, there's my kit. <sighs> Alex, what are you doing here? You're dropped, remember? No. I've got to play. It's the last game of the season. 
But read my lips, you're out. They go and do your care in a community act somewhere else. We've got a game to win. All right, on your toes for the second half, lads. Come on, get out of here. Someone get rid of him. <laughs> you what, mate? If this is a practical joke, it's in bloody bad taste. No, it's real. Do you want me to prove it? What's this all about, son? You play me. You know I can't. Well, if I don't play, then nobody else does. Get over there. Ooh. The Harchester fans giving a very warm round of applause to their favourite, Carl Fletcher, handing over a cheque at half-time to a local children's charity. Good to see him back. Enjoy the second half. Marion. Good to see you, Bob. They'll be kicking off again soon if you'd like to take your seats. Well, if you go ahead, I'll be out there in a moment, OK? You're not coming out? No. How many times have I got to say I'm sorry? If you're not going out, then neither am I. Look, I don't want you to miss... It's luckier if I don't remember. Besides, another 45 minutes of stress like that, and I won't live to see them stay up. This is Russian, man. He can't shoot us all. I'm not playing Russian roulette. After you. One more step, and I will shoot you. I've made sure that I've got enough of these for everybody. I thought you wanted to play. You can't if we are lost in here. Jamie, please stop this now. Don't do anything you will regret. You two, this bench against the door, and I want that physio bench against the door and all. Come on, do it now! Live with it, they're coming to me now. Yeah, well, some of the Everton players are already in the tunnel, Richard. No sign of the home side yet. Uh, no half time substitutions for either team, we understand. Carl Fletcher, Sky Sports. Uh, anything you'd like to say to your teammates right now? Yeah, just good luck, and I wish I was out there with them. Okay, thanks, thanks mate. Well, is this to be Harchester's last 45 minutes in the Premiership? We're about to find out. To lose it. 45 minutes of football this promises to be but the good news for Harchester is that Bolton Wanderers I tell you what only turn that thing off relegation spot of trailing huh? two nil at the Reebok Stadium the results are foregone conclusion but the position for Harchester I can think of more interesting ways of spending 45 minutes than watching that bunch of desperate donkeys play kick and rush turn the TV off Jack I can think of more interesting ways of drinking vintage champagne, too. Dragon's Risling. It's plump, but it's the only white wine I could find. Do you know where there's a bottle opener? I think there's one on my desk drawer. Maybe you can magic us up a bottle of something decent. Throw that away! Why? Look, you know what they say about magic. Mess with it and it will come back to haunt you. I wish I'd never done that. Done what? You were so unhappy when your wife left and Sandra and I, we just thought that... Rose petals and light of earth draw nigh true happiness to one who is worth. Bring joy and peace to make them whole. You went to all this trouble for me. I never even began to deserve you. I came here with a love, and it feels so much like I wish that I could make amends. I, I wish that we could still be friends. You're the sweetest person that I know, Honey, and... You should know that I what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
got lost at the end there. He did. <laughs> Jamie, we're your friends. You don't want to hurt anybody. Then make him play me apps. Fine. Play. Where's his kit? Somebody get Jamie's kit. I'll go. Second half's gonna kick off soon, Jamie. If you want to play. You're gonna have to get changed. Pass it along. What? Because I didn't the showers. <sighs> Alex, give Jamie your gloves. Try in the showers. Get this to Clyde. He's in the showers. They're not my lucky gloves. We don't have you. It's okay. It'd be no use. It's not like I'm going to make any saves, is it? Gaff would kill me. Why don't you hand me that, and I'll hold it. Just wait for your gloves on, okay? Yeah, okay. Abby? <laughs> what was that? Something like a gun. Why's no one coming out? You can't come in! Jay, what's going on? Go away! Oh, go? Jay! I think it's only days. Okay. It's not really hurting. Yeah, that'll be the shock. Abby, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Come on, son. Let's phone the doctor. It's your mate's wife and she's her. Come on, Jamie. It's Abby. Come on. Come on, man. Quiet! You're frightening him. Maybe if you put something against him to stop the bleeding. Oh, Jamie, just let me get my coat so that I can put it over, OK? Can you go back into your dressing room and wait there, please? Stan, can you get the tunnel through, please? I'm going to raid my control. My wife's in there! Well, please move along, Mr. Fletcher. Tunnel 1 to control, 1 to control. Report of a shot being fired in the home dressing room. Did you say someone's got a gun? Well, can you move that camera back, please? Pinch of rue and flower of wart. May triumph bring when battle's fought. Except we don't have any rue or wart for that matter. Phil Wallace. What? Okay, received and understood. Control. Go ahead, control. Four five, come in, four five. Message for Mr. Chester. Would Mr. Chester go to the meeting point? The evacuation code. You're calling the game off. It's the only safe course of action. Ladies and gentlemen, due to unforeseen circumstances, it is not possible to continue with this event. Please leave the stadium as directed as quickly as possible. Oh, no way! We've got a second half to play! Will you move, sir, or I'm going to arrest you? Come on, son. Can't see what this is all about. Look, the game's been called off, man. We're down! If it's abandoned at half time, it's always replayed. Look, it's not like this is any old game that's been rained off. This is the last day of the season. Bolton won't know whether they're up or down. Everton Spurs won't know if they're in Europe or not. Everton's season is over, man. Stubbsy's going to Bermuda tomorrow, you told me. Look what you've done, Jamie! Huh? To lose free and square, I can just about accept, but to be relegated like this! Abby's been shot and you want to argue about football results? I'm okay. Just don't provoke him. Just shut up, all of you! Oh, what? Huh? You're gonna shoot me too? Yes. I will. If you don't sit down. Right. Stuart, get me something to tie him up with. Bandages, tape, get in pairs. Look, there's no need for that. Do you think I'm stupid? 
You lot against me! Right, give us a towel, quick. Hurry up, hurry up. Stuart, come on, move it. In the last few moments, we've received reports that a siege is taking place at Harchester Football Club. Now, the details we have are very, very sketchy, so we don't know whether one person or indeed a group of individuals are responsible for this siege or whether or not they're armed. Also, we have no idea how many hostages are being held at the scene, but a number of police officers are there, also police negotiators, and the area has been sealed off. But that news in the last few moments that a siege is taking place at Harchester Football Club. Club. More on that as we receive it. Why would it go down? I'm afraid you need to get out here and leave the building. Now, why can't we get down to the changing rooms? Well, that area's sealed off. So this rumour about a gunman is true? Look, I can't comment on that, sir. If you could please just exit the lift. We need to evacuate the rest of this area. No. My dad's in that changing room. I'm not going anywhere. Officer, most of us have family and friends involved. Is there somewhere we could wait? This is one to control. Go ahead, control. But don't leave this room without an escort. Enough somebody down to supervise you. One result, free bar. Um, excuse me. My boss is in there too, Alan Mothman. The manager? Yeah, and he has a heart condition, so can you let people know? Yeah, don't worry, I'll be doing my control, not a problem. If we're going to be here quite a while, wouldn't you be better off with a cup of tea, Mr Stein? Oh, you're Jeff Stein? That's right. Who wants him? Uh, can I have a word, please? We need to locate your daughter. Well, what's she got to do with all this? Well, your son-in-law is the hostage taker, Mr Stein. My priority is the safety of the people in that dressing room and the supporters. Uh, look, it could have just been a car backfiring. If the result stands as it is, then this club goes down. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, do anything you have to, uh, anything I can do to help. I'd forgotten. With you, the idea is always more exciting than the execution. Well, go on, turn on the telly. I'll catch the final whistle. of SO19, so that's the police's armed response unit, have sealed off the home dressing room where the gunman, believed to be goalkeeper Jamie Parker, has been holding his teammates hostage since half time. The bloody idiot! They haven't finished the game, what does that mean? No idea. Go down to the stadium, find your husband, find out what's going on, and phone me. If Parker has opened his mouth about the bet and throwing games, we're all finished. Mr. Wallace. Yeah, Inspector Ruth there, Goldfarb, she's a trained negotiator. Has there been any contact so far with Mr. Parker? Roger, so we have no idea what he wants. I need all the information you can get me about him. Family circumstances, friends, anything you know about problems, affairs, money difficulties, how he's been playing. Not well. Is there a landline into the changing room? A phone? In the changing room? No. Then the inspector will need a list of all mobile phones for everyone who's in there, starting with Mr. Parker's. Okay. I've never seen that film Insomnia with Al Pacino. Because that's me. Setting like uh, the North Pole. And he's there and he's sticking bits of paper across his window to keep out the light because it's the middle of summer. And it doesn't get dark there at night. And he can't sleep. Someone gonna answer that? No, I thought a person would be dead if they didn't kip for five days. But hey. Here I am. Jeremy, I think it's your phone. What? Am I speaking to Jamie Parker? Who's this? This is Inspector Ruth Goldfarb. Jamie. You're the police? Yes, I'm calling to find out how we can help. Oh, 
Who called the police? You shot someone. What did you expect? I can't go to prison. There's no way. Shots up! I'll turn it off. Hey. Oh, you okay? I just feel a bit nauseous. Maybe if you can turn me over on the other side. Oh. Jamie, look, you have to let us get some help for her. What is wrong with her, Stewart? She seems to have lost a lot of blood. Yes. I... I need to get something to stem the blood with. She cannot lose any more blood. Shut up, all of you! I'm sorry, this area's out of bounds. I'm Jackie Wallace. My husband owns the club. I'm sorry, officer. I don't seem to have any idea. It's OK, Mrs Wallace. I recognise you. So can I come in? I've tried calling my husband on his mobile, but I can't seem to get through. Thank you. OK, what have we got? Basin area where the boy is. It's right underneath us. The others are over here in a dressing room area. Whole area ceiling tiles. We just lodge one. We're totally exposed. OK. Let me talk to the boy. Fine. This is Chief Inspector Kavanagh. Now, don't speak, just listen. Now, you're being extremely brave. And we're going to get you out of there, I promise, but we need information. Now, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and I want you to answer me by pushing the buttons on your phone. Once for yes, twice for no. OK, Clyde? Good lad. Now, we need to establish the position of everyone in that room, starting with Abby Fletcher. I suppose a decent person would phone Alan's fiance. You haven't? Nope. She's in New York. She has no idea. You and him? I don't know what we are anymore. Just as I think I'm dealing with it, something like this happens. I know what you mean. How did you get in? Where's Phil? With the police. Where with the police? Can't you just leave him alone? There's nothing you can do here. Look, I'm his wife. Look, Mrs Wallace, you may be in the operations centre. I'll take you up. Thank you. He deserves better. He might deserve you, Nicky, but he wants me. Oh, Nicky, no! Oh, how much longer is this going to go on? What's going on? Oh, my God, he was asleep. And you woke him up, you muppet. Shh, 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 shh. It's too late now. Jamie, Alan needs a toilet. Can you just do it in a bottle or something? Do, do you really want the trouble of Antigas? If you think I'm going to get out in front of you lot, I want the loo. And I've got stuff I need to take, all right? Stuart, on time. And don't you try anything. Jackie? I'll leave you too, Mrs. Wallace. What are you doing here? I came to see you, of course. As soon as I saw it on TV, I was worried. I wanted to know what was happening. Jamie Parker's holding a dressing room full of people at gunpoint. So I'm sorry, but I don't have time to chat. Did he say why? Jamie, I mean. You're the chairman, Phil. They must be keeping you informed. They haven't told me anything. And the game. What's happening with that? You must be gutted. Are they being relegated? Football's the last thing on everyone's minds right now, Jax. Look, I'm really busy. Go home. But I want to help. Have you traced Parker's wife here? Well, we need to go in. We don't have much time. The currently boy's in trouble. I think she's about to be discovered. Five minutes, ten tops. We're working on a ventilation grill now. Can I have your attention, please? Everyone. 
The police are recommending that you all go home. This could go on for hours. That's our families in that dressing room. We ain't going anywhere. Phil, people just want to know what's going on. They're not telling me any more than I'm telling you. Have you found Tash yet? No, uh, mobile's disconnected. I've left messages with her mum and friends, but no-one's seen her. Well, apparently Jamie won't answer his phone to any of the police. Well, I'm his father-in-law. Maybe he'll talk to me. Look, I know him better than anyone. Right, let's go. You and all, Stuart. Nobody else move. It's not a floor show, you know. I can't do it in front of people. Do you ever stop complaining? I can't seem... Well, then you go! Oh, you animals! Don't you ever flush the toilet? Before we call Jamie, there's something we need to know. What? Your wife has been shot. What? We need to find out how badly she's hurt. Well, you don't know! And we need to persuade Jamie to let her out of there. Uh, That's where you can help. L let me go in. Me for her. Swap. We can't do that. But why not? We can't put your life in danger, not even to save hers. For God's sake, she could be dying in there! Carl, if you can't keep calm, we can't use you. We don't even put the rest of that changing room in danger. If you want to help your wife, the best thing you can do is talk Jamie into letting her go. I know you're frightened for her, I know you're angry with him, but you have to put those feelings aside. It's going to take as much strength and courage as you've ever shown on a football field. Are you up to it? Yeah, just get me. Patching through. Yeah, sure. Let me answer it, Jamie. I don't want to talk to them. I'll talk to them if you don't want to. Look, I'm sure they just want to help, and we need to help Abby, right? <laughs> Jamie Parker's phone. Stuart Naismith. Fletch. Is it Carl? Is she OK? All the better for him is you and me. But we've got to get her out of here. I want to speak to her. Actually, put Jamie on. Sure, no problem. Talk to Fletch, Jay. He's worried about you. <sighs> I just want to help you, mate. And Abby, is she badly hurt? Anything if you don't want to, right? give the phone to someone else, but just, just don't hang up, okay? I never wanted to hurt you. You haven't hurt me, all right? It's Abby I'm worried about. I have. And all the time you've been so good to me, trying to help me. <sighs> I tried to tell you, but he made me do it. I don't want to talk about you and me, all right? Abby's bleeding, we've got to get her out of there. So what's it going to take? What is it you want? What do I want? I want my life back to how it was before. I want my wife and my daughter to love me like they used to love me. Do you think you can give me that? We're trying to find your wife, Jamie. The moment we do, we'll bring her straight here and you can talk to her. You get that stupid copper off the line now, Fletch. I was talking to you! She won't even return my calls. She's taken hope away. So don't pretend to me that you can give me my family back because we both know that that is a lie. Sure you've had a row with Tash. Jay, please don't make Abby pay the price. I'm afraid he's cut the call. <sighs> oh. We've lost him. Who's that and who let her in? Mrs. Wallace, I'm sorry, but you really cannot be here. It's a restricted area. Please, 
escort her to the players' lounge. It's time for plan B. Understood. It's a go. Right, is that all of them? And they're all off, yeah? I think so. I think she's going into shock. Jamie, look at her. This is Abby, our friend. You don't know what it is to kill a friend. It is a nightmare from which you will never awake. It will kill you inside. I will not lie to you. If we get out of here, there will be consequences, even maybe prison. But it is nothing to the life sense of guilt that you will feel if this woman dies. Jamie, look at her! Do you want her to die? Pass me my phone. And untie Marcel. He can help you moving all that stuff. I'm letting her go. Am I speaking to Marcel Spatu? No, it's Clyde. Yeah, I'm from the Hodgson Chronicle, and we're after an interview. Oh, an interview now? Are you mental? It'll only take a few minutes of time. How did you get this number? Jesus! What was that? Get up. Get up! In there. Easy, easy, baby. Right, whoever is in there, open the door, or I swear I will shoot him. <laughs> open the goddamn door! I surrender, don't shoot me. Goalkeeper Parker has now kept his teammates barricading in the dressing room for six hours. We believe there is one casualty, but as yet no information as to why Parker is taking this action or indeed what he wants. I guess they've gone down. <laughs> oh my God! Calm down. No, 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 don't try and drive in that state. Just sit tight and the police will come and get you. Look, don't tell me not to freak out, Dad. Shh, it's all right, sweetheart. Look, just get me, yeah? Jamie, nobody lied to you. Fletch and I didn't know the officer had gone into the roof. It's miscommunication, our end. We just want to help you, so please keep talking to us. I don't want to talk to you. And I don't want to talk to him. And if she dies, then it's going to be your fault. And if anybody else tries coming down that way, I'm going to shoot them. And I'm going to shoot one of this lot and all. Do you understand me? Jamie, don't hang up. Right, tie him up. Please, Jay, not over my mouth, please. I'll puke if you put anything over my mouth. Well, then keep it shut. some sandwiches. You okay? All I can think of is the fights I had with him, you know, the terrible things I said. If he dies, he'll never know that. I'm sure he does know. Police and the club are doing the best we can to bring this siege to a quick and peaceful conclusion. Why would Jamie do a thing like this during a Dragons game? Could it be because he was dropped today that this is possibly an act of revenge on his part? It's very difficult to say. Um, I, I couldn't comment on that at this stage. We don't know his motives, we don't know his reasons. What's his relationship like with God's sake, what are you still doing here? My husband could come in. I don't think so. Unless he's figured out a way to be in two places at the same time. What are they saying? Did Parker say anything? No. I was just in the incident room listening to him on the phone. Until they kicked me out. 
I wish to God that I'd never got involved in this bet. I wish I'd never met you. We've ruined people's lives. It's a bit late to be squeamish. And besides, a conscience doesn't suit you. Just go, Patrick. All right. Good night, Jackie. We know he's barricaded the door. We're not quite sure what with. We'll kill the lights just before we go in. Let's hope the team upstairs managed to get Mrs. Fletcher out of the way. Would you stop calling me? Jay, um, I need to speak to Abby. Please, mate. It's <sighs> Fletch. Can she talk? Abs, can you hear me, baby? I can hear you. Okay, listen, listen. Get them to move you away from the door. Do it now. Okay. Doesn't he want to speak to me? He said the doctor told him to move me off the car. Let me know when you're in position. I'll take hope. Come on, Anne. Everything's going to be OK. OK. We're out of time. I guess... Hang on. She's here. Give us ten more minutes. Mrs. Parker, Chief Inspector Kavanagh. Now, I'm sorry to have to rush you in like this, but time is of the essence. Have you been briefed? Now, we're going to put you through to your husband's phone. <sighs> Fletch. Jamie. Tosh? I'm here, babe. And hopes we're dead. We're all here. The police bought us. <laughs> Stay strong just a bit longer so we can get people out without anybody getting hurt. You want to come out now, don't you? You want to come home? I didn't think you'd ever let me after what I've done. We don't need to talk about that now. Yes, we do. I need you to understand. Uh, <laughs> when I told Doyle I'd take the money, I was still in America. I thought I'd still be there with Shannon. And I hope I hardly even do it. Sweetheart, we need to concentrate on Abby. Can't we do this when you come out? Just the two of us? I don't think I'm coming out. Yes, you are. 50 grand a pop for letting in the odd girl. Sounded like money for old rope. I did it the first time. I stood under those showers for two hours afterwards. But I just couldn't wash away the feelings. Because I'm a cheat. Even in my sleep, I was dreaming it. So it's just better not to sleep. Holding my daughter, thinking she. She could never be proud of me. God, I think killed my best friend. Sash, can you can you tell Fletch that it wasn't a heart attack? It was me. I begged him to let me stop, but he wouldn't. And he said that I'd lose you both. Only now I have. <laughs> I miss you so much. We need to get on with this, Natasha. <sighs> you 
You haven't lost us, Jay. We're both here, and we want to see you. Hope and me. <gasps> Just please <sighs> come out. You'll be there. I'm here. But, Jamie, you need to put the gun down, do you hear? You need to put the gun down and open the door. You'll be there. You won't run away again. I'll be there. alone for a moment. I need you to untie Marcel and Curtis. I need them to unblock the door. They're dismantling the barricades. Parker will come out first. He should be unarmed. Hold your positions. I'm going to go and see my wife and daughter now. Wish me luck. I'm so sorry, fellas. I didn't mean to interrupt the game that way. All you need to be advised, suspect is in possession of his firearm. Josh? Where are you, babe? I'm police! Put the gun down, Jamie! Move away with your hands above your head! You lied to me! Shocking now. BF Steel, charging 200. Staying clear. Shocking now. Coming soon on Dream Team. We need to get a date for the replay out the FA. And quick. How is she? I don't know. I don't know nothing. The most important thing is you get a confession from him or a name of who he's working for. Don't give anything close to a confession, or they'll arrest you on the spot. I must say I'm touched. The club knew, and you knew! It's your fault he's dead! Tonight at 9, Danny Wallace investigates what American leaders may have been prepared to do to ensure global supremacy and conspiracies, the evil in America.